Dear students, how are you? I hope that you are fine and safe and sound at home. I am also fine. Dear students, you are welcome to today's online class. This is Muhammad Abdul Rauf, lecturer in English, Kolga City Corporation College. Dear students, last classes we discussed the rules how to change complex sentences into simple ones. Today I will discuss the same rules to change the complex sentences into compound ones. Dear students, if you follow the process, you will have a good command good knowledge of comparative study about the differences between Among the three types of sentences simple complex and compound and that will help you to change one type of sentence into another type of sentence easily dear students if you miss the last classes of mine i request you to enjoy the class which help you to understand this class easily okay dear students one thing you remember that when you go to change the complex sentences into compound word two things very common you have to do the first one you have to omit the sign of complex sentence that means the subordinating conjunction first and in place of then you have to add it coordinating conjunction that is the sign of compound sentences and the coordinating conjunctions there is students you see on the uh, you see i have written on the board they are and or but soon otherwise yet etc one of them you have to use between two clauses for changing the complex sentences into compound one dear students so let's discuss the rules first one it is of since as or foreign indicating time when you see the complex sentence in complex sentence the clauses combined with since as foreign referring time in that case for changes this complex sentence into compound one you have to use coordinating conjunction and between two clauses you see there are students here is an example of complex sentence with foreign and it is when the meeting was over we went home in bangla jokon meeting shesh hoyechilo amra bari giyechilam you see beginning of the sub subordinate clause here is when when you make this complex sentence into compound one first of all the sign of complex that is subordinate conjunction is to be omitted and between of the clauses we will add conjunction and so what will be like this you see i, I am writing this sentence again the meeting was over and we went home this complex sentence becomes into compound verb the meeting was over and we went home So dear students now come to the second row and it is of since as because 
referring cause or reason. You see, in rule number one, since as used for indicating time, in rule two, since as you are used, indicating reason or cause. And moreover, there is another word is because. Dear students, when you see in complex sentence the two clauses are combined. Since as because indicating reason. In this case, for changing the complex sentence into compound one, you have to use and or so or and so. So you see here is an example of complex sentence. As he was a liar, nobody likes him. In Bangla, Jetu she ekjon mithabadi. Kyo take pochondo kore na. Take pochondo na kore karan hunche. She mithabadi. So this clause indicates reason. So when this complex sentence is to be changed into compound one, first of all we omit this subordinating conjunction S and we add between the two clauses and so. So if I write the sentence, this will be like this. He was a liar and so nobody likes him. This is compound sentence. If you want, in place of and so, you can use only and or only so or both conveniently and so. Dear student, now let's come to the role, uh, role 3 and it is so dash that. So dash that in gap usually adjective or a verb may use. And this phrase or conjunctions so dash that indicate effects or reason. In uh, this type of complex sentence, if you want to change into compound 1, you may replace so by very or you can keep it unchanged and instead of that, you will have to use and. Then, this complex sentence will become into compound 1. Let's see. Here is an example. The sum was so difficult that we could not solve it. In Bangla, the meaning of sentence Ankhuti eto kothin chilo je We could not solve it. Amra itike shamadhan korte parini. You see, so that and between of the two sentences here difficult is an example uh, is an adjective use between of the two words and when we change this complex sentence into compound word it will be like this you see the sum was very difficult We use here very in place of so or if you want you can keep it unchanged. So the sum was very difficult and the sign of complex sentence is omitted here and we use and in place of it and and is a sign of compound sentence then it's coordinating conjunction. We could not solve it.
So this is completed to be a compound sentence. So dear students, come to the number 4 and it is if plus affirmative meaning condition. So for changing this type of complex sentence into compound word, we will use coordinating conjunction and between two clauses. So you see dear students, here is an example. If you read more, you will learn more. Uh, and in this case, um, we uh, omit uh, coordinating conjunction if and subject also uh, will omit it here because uh, in this case, uh, the subordinating, subordinating clause changes into imperative sentence. Imperative sentence begins generally with verb. So, read more and you will learn more so this become compound sentence and uh, under the rule number five there is another uh, another rule of if it is if plus negative meaning condition in uh, this type of complex sentence for changing into compound one, you will use or this is uh, coordinating conjunction. You should remember if plus negative that means subordinating conjunction uh, clause must be in negative. In this case, we will use or. So uh, let's see. I am writing uh, in this. Case also the subordinate clause uh, turn into imperative sentence. So uh, this will be here like this: run first, or you will not keep pass we us. The meaning of the uh, uh, complex sentence is that. If you don't run fast, you will not keep pace with us. And the meaning of compound sentence, run fast, druto dodao. Or you will not keep pace with us. No, Dear students, now come to the rule number five, and it is of unless. So when uh, you see the complex sentence uh, is with unless. For changing this complex sentence into compound word, you also have to use OR. So, you see here is an example of complex sentence. Unless you attend every class, you will not understand the topic. Jodi na tumi protiti class se angshu goha karo, tahale tumi bishoy ti, bishoy bostu ti, bujh be na. Here is also uh, indicating condition. So, we will use for making it into compound word or between two clauses. Uh, you see here also uh, uh, mark of subordinating, uh, subordinating conjunction and subject will be omitted here. Uh, and be, it, the clause changes into imperative sentence like before. Uh, attend every class. Or you will not understand the topic. So, dear students, this complex uh, sentence comes into compound one. Dear students, come to discuss the rules number six, and it is of though and or although meaning contrast. So, for changing this type of complex sentence into compound word, we will use the coordinating conjunction but between two clauses. Uh, you see, I am writing to change this sentence into compound like this. Uh, subordinate conjunction will be omitted. Uh, so, he were her. But he 
I am keeping here within bracket could not pass the exam. Dear students, when we see uh, after changing the complex into compound word, the subject of both clauses same. In this case, in second clause, the subject is omitted here. That's why, just for showing you, I am I keep the uh, subject within bracket. Uh, so the in Bangla the meaning of the complex one Jodiyo she kodur from korechilo she porikhay pass hoy ni meaning of compound sentence she kodur pois from korechilo kintu she pass hoy ni the meanings of both sentences are same so dear students I think what I have discussed this class I think you have understood better. Uh, and um, that's all for today, dear students. So be safe and sound. See you again in the next class. Allah Hafiz.